I was very aware that I was my father's daughter. And while I was very proud of that, I wanted to be a regular kid. I wanted to have, um, you know, the experiences that other kids had and sort of just be one of them. We were the first freshman class, the ninth graders in Northgate. So we uh, inaugurated Northgate as ninth graders. But I was very much aware of what I could and could not do. I had to be uh, on my best behavior, which would have, would have been any case with my parents, no matter what their profession. So our memories are that he would be up in the dark, three in the morning, he would put chains on his car tires, he would drive the district, which by that time had grown to almost 100 square miles, and um, we would, um, then he would gather with all the bus drivers who had come from all over the district where they lived, and he would ask them if it was safe to have school. And they would be huddled with steaming coffee mugs out in the, in the bus barn, um, and after he talked to the drivers and experienced the roads himself he, would, himself, he would make the call. Now in the meantime, we were at home with the phone ringing off the hook starting at about 5.30. Are we going to have school? Are we going to have school? And then often we in fact did have school. So when the bus would finally come and I would board the bus, there would be this loud booing that somehow I had been unsuccessful in persuading my father that we did not need to have school today. Um, and uh, I would say, you know I tried, you know I tried. <laughs>